Today I need to talk to you guys about a big issue that I recently came across in Grand RP. I didn't know anything about it until someone told me. I was really confused on why this would even be implemented, because it genuinely doesn't make any sense to me. It reminds me of a scene from The Office, and I'll get into that in just a little bit. But I hope you guys go on to enjoy the video, and if you haven't already played on the server before and want to, be sure to click the link down below in the description, click on Start Playing, select which server you want to play on, register an account, and download the launcher. And if you want to play on your phone, now you can. Everything you can do on the PC version of the game, you can now do on your phone. And if you use code FROLICS when you sign up, you'll get a free rare accessory. But anyways, I hope you guys go on to enjoy the video, and with that said, let's jump into it. So do you guys remember one scene from The Office, where Saber purchased Dunder Mifflin? Jim's working, he's doing a great job, and then he realizes he just made a ton of sales, but he ends up getting zero dollars in commission. And he was confused, and it's because they implemented a salary cap on commissions. Well, in Grand RP, that same thing has happened. You can make up to $50,000 per hour, no matter what organization you're in, which is a huge issue. I believe this also affects regular jobs, like working as a trucker, working at electrical, if somehow you could make that much money at electrical. But either way, the cap now is 50 grand. Now, I had no idea this existed. I was insuring my cars and I was like, you guys must be getting so much freaking money from this. And they're like, yeah, you would, but the salaries are capped at $50,000, so after a little while, we don't really make any money. And I'm like, are you serious? When did that happen? And they're like, I'm not too sure, but before it was 100000 and then it was reduced down to 50000 And I was like, bro, that has to be one of the dumbest things I've ever heard. If you're putting in the work to make $100,000 in an hour, but your salary is capped at 50 k it makes no sense to me. And why would they ever reduce it from $100,000? If you're able to make 100 k in one hour working at LSPD or FIB or EMS, you should get that money. Like, especially at EMS, during the purge, you could be making thousands of dollars every hour. People are coming in, buying 30 med kits at a time, getting patched up, getting pills, all kinds of stuff. But no matter what, even if you make $50,000 in the first 10 minutes, every single thing you do after that will not be included in your salary. So you could sell another $200,000 worth of med kits or insurance and not get any of it. Now, the best way to fix this is just removing the cap completely. I don't think that should be in the game whatsoever. Like I said before, if you can actually make that much money, you should be able to get that much money. Simple as that. There's many jobs where this plays a massive part. Like, imagine being a debt collector, right? I believe if you're a level 3 debt collector, you get $30,000 once you find the person you need to collect debt from. And then if you go and find one more person after that, you'll only make $20,000 because your salary is capped at fifty k. Imagine you're a debt collector and you find 6 people in 1 hour. You could be looking at a fat paycheck right there, but you'll still get 50 k Now, the one good thing is if you are in an organization, you could go and tell your leader or your deputy leaders, I guess, and say, I put in a ton of work. I got my max salary cap at 50 k Any chance I can get a little bonus? And they might be like, yeah, sure, and give you a $10,000 or $20,000 bonus. I know with EMS, depending on where you're working and at what time you're working at, you'll get an additional bonus on top of what you made regularly from the hour. And I believe it's around $25,000 extra per hour, depending on where you're at, which is why EMS is still one of the best jobs. But like during peak times, the amount of money you could be making, whether you're in an organization or you're just doing a job like trucking, it's just crazy how much money is lost. Even if you're a trucker, for example, you're driving around, let's say every single trip you had to do was only like a mile and a half or two miles, you could easily make over $50,000 in one hour doing trucking. But no matter what, you'll just make 50000 max. I personally think it really needs to be removed or at least set back to 100000 Because for me at least, I have never made $100,000 in one singular hour. But then again, I've also never worked at EMS during the purge, and I also never sold insurance. So the people that do that stuff would probably like to see that go back up. Because like you bring in a few cars, and I can't remember exactly what the commission is. I think it might be 1% or 2% of the insurance sale. So for this Bugatti Chiron, right? Insurance for this car is $2.5 million, which means the commission, if it was 1%, would be $25,000. I'm not 100% sure if that's correct or not. Maybe it's just $5,000 or $10,000 per car you insure. But either way, you bring in 
literally these three cars right in front of me and boom, your salary cap would be hit. And then after that, you're just not making any money. Like I mentioned before about the office, having a salary cap removes your incentive, which is exactly what Jim said in the office. He didn't want to work. So he just kind of chilled now because there's no point. He couldn't make any more money. The same thing applies here. Like imagine the day before the salary cap was introduced, you were making 80 to $100,000 every single hour you were working, insuring cars, selling med kits, doing pretty much anything, driving around as a debt collector even. And then out of nowhere, they introduce this salary cap and then you're just completely screwed. Because the next day, you end up coming back in and you're only making 50,000. And then maybe you're thinking, oh, I probably just had a bad hour. Then the next hour, you absolutely demolish everything and thinking you're easily pulling in 80 to 90 grand, and then boom, you get hit with another 50K. Definitely not gonna give you the best feeling in the world. And when you really think about it, there should not be a salary cap whatsoever. And the main reason is because think about all the people out there with businesses. Imagine there was a salary cap there, like you could only make this much money per day from a business. Like for a car sharing business, the max you could make was five. $500,000, people would be fuming. Same with chip tunings at auto shops. Obviously, that wouldn't happen. Even in real life, there's no such thing as that, I don't believe. But salary caps should just be removed in general as well. I think it's kind of stupid. In real life and in the game. Like I said, if I make $100,000, I want to get $100,000. If I sell 700 med kits in an hour, I should get the payment that comes along with selling 700 med kits. So let me know what you guys think of this down below. And have you been affected yourself by the salary caps? You sold tons of med kits or insurance, or you collected debt from like six people in one hour, and you only ended up getting a small amount of that money instead of what you should have actually gotten. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And with that said, I will catch you guys in the next one.